Hey everybody, so this is uh, the second part of Unit 4, Module 4, Session 4, Homework That Review. Um, there's four pages of it. I just couldn't fit it into a 15 minute. I could have tried to squeeze it, but I don't think it could have made it. This one might be kind of short. We'll see. Um, so this one on number 3A. So Maria's making friendship bracelets. She wants to sell them. Um, it costs her $1.25 to make them. So they want to use a ratio table to figure out how much it it, it's how much it is for 19 bracelets and they set up the first one for us okay so oftentimes we go to 10 and when we go to 10 remember we're going to move that decimal over one time so it's going to become 1250 and i'm going to put a dollar sign in there and um, then we might go to 20 and that's just doubling that one so 1250 plus 1250 um, so 12 plus 12 is 24, then 250 cents together is another dollar, so $25. And then um, to get to 19, we just subtract one of the bracelets, right? So it's $25. I'm going to work up here. $25 minus $1.25. Um, so I might actually just subtract 25 minus a dollar. That's uh, 24. And then I might subtract 25 cents. And that, I'm not going to borrow anything because it's just going to be a quarter less. So it's 23.75. I think this is 23.75. 23.75 is our answer. Okay. Um, so try the next one. Or um, if you're still a little confused, go with me for a little bit. And then we can, hopefully you can pause it and try it on your own. So they want to know how much um, it would cost, well, how many bracelets she could make if she had $126.25. So we know 10. 10 we said was uh, $12.50, right? Probably didn't need to copy that one out again. Um, we can go to 20. We've already been to 20. That's way off. Um, let's go straight to 100. So I, I moved my decimal over once for 10, but now there's two zeros. So I'm going to move it over twice another time. So it's $125. We want $126.75 or 25. So I think that's just one more. So if I added another 125 to that, it would be 126.25, and that matches. So I believe it's 101 bracelets. All right, let's keep going. Oh, I like this. This is going to be some, a little bit of work. Um, solve the problems below. Use the standard algorithm for only one of the problems. Use any strategies for the other problems. Show your work. Explain your choice. I'm probably not going to write my explain my choice. I'll show you a choice. I'm going to use the area model for this first one. Um, just because it's one I feel pretty confident in. Um, here's my area model. Make the spaces big enough, right? So I'm going to put 26 on the side and 36 on the top. Um, 2 times 3 is 6. There's two zeros left in the problem, 600. Um, 20 times 6, well, 2 times 6 is 12. One zero left. Um, 30 times 6, well, 3 times 6 is 18. And then a zero left. And then 6 times 6 is 36. Uh, how do I want to add these? Um, oftentimes, we add just a cross. We'll just do that. 180 plus 36. Well, 180 plus 30 is 210. So that's 216. And 600 plus 120 is 720. So if I add those up, I get a 6. I get a 3. And I get a 9. 936. And you could add them down, you could add them all at the same time. It doesn't matter how you add them. Um, next one, I'm going to use the algorithm called the algo. No, I got to write the algorithm. Just make it across the whole thing. I'm going to change the color. That's okay. All right. So 28 times 36. Um, different problem. They're all times 36. So actually, I already know what, <laughs> I already know what 26 times 36 is. So I just have two more 36s, which is 72. So I think this is going to be 72 bigger, but I'm going to use the, the algorithm. So 8 times 6 is 48. 
Um, 2 times 6, I'm still at that 6 in the bottom right, is 12, plus that 4 is 16. And placeholder, cross that off, cross that off. Now 3 times 8 is 24. Carry the 2. 2 times 3 is 6, plus the 2 is 8. And I'm going to add it up. 8, 6 plus 4 is 10. I mean, we have a 10. 1,008, yeah? Okay, next one. Um, I think I'm going to use a ratio table for this one. Oh, I should change the color again. Let's go to red. So <clears throat> I'm going to go 1 by 36. Um, let's go 10 to, uh, <coughs> excuse me, I apologize, to 360. Um, I'm going to go 5, half a 10, is um, 180. And then I'm going to go 20. Uh, 20 was, I'm doubling 360, 720. Okay, so I think I have all I need. Because I have 20, 720. And then I have 10, so that's 360. So that's um, 30. And then I have 5, 180. And then that's 35, and then I have 1, 36. Let's add it up. Um, I have a 6 here. Oops, I'm going to move it up a little bit so I can write on my board. I have a 6 here. And then I have, I'm in the second, I have nothing to, to carry over. So I have a 2, 6, 8, and a 3. So 2 plus 6 is 8, plus 8 is 16, plus 3 is 19. And then I carry 1. And then I have a 7 and 3 in there is 10, 11, 12. I think I have 1,296. That is a six. Sorry, That's my answer. Those are just some ways you can you can do different ways than that if you you have some. All right, let's do the last page. And there's just some algorithms here. Um, my hint for you is oftentimes just to do it. This first one, um, they have the whole problem. So let's just try, kind of work through it. I'm just going to write over it because um, I can do that, and you think you can see it. So I'm going to start in this bottom right, right? So 6 times 2 is 12. There's my 2. Carry my 1. 4 times 2 is 8. Plus that 1 is 9. And then I'm going to cross this off. Cross that off. Uh, oh, placeholder. I'm trying to get us. 6 times 3 is 18. There's my 8 and my 1. 4 times 3 is 12. Plus that 1 is 13. And now I'm adding 2 plus 0. Um, 9 plus 8 is 17, carry my 1, and then 4. 1, 4, 7, 2. All right, let's keep going. I love these ones. Um, I love it when there's a 1 right here. Because then it's just the same number, right? 6 times 1 is 6. 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 5 is 5. First one's done. So I'm going to cross that off. They have their placeholder right here. That's cool. Um, 3 times 6 is 18. Carry the 1. 3 times 0 is 0, plus that 1 that was carried over is 1. And then I'm done there. I'm going to keep going. Um, 3 times uh, 5. 3 times 5 is 15. So let's add 6 and 8, a 6, a 5, and a 1. Yeah? What do you think? All right, let's do the very last one. Um, the cool part of these ones that are the same number here. It's the same answer for both of them. So um, 2 times 7, I'm starting down here. 2 times 7 is 14, carry the 1. 2 times 7 is 14, plus 1 is 15. I forgot to put that 4. Uh, so carry the 1. 6 times 7 is 42, plus 1 is 43. Okay. Oops. What happened? i got to find it now. I'm on the, <clears throat> I moved it all of a sudden. I apologize. My hand hit it. That's not, a, that's not fun. I apologize for that. Um, this very last one. So let me see where I was. So I was just getting ready to cross everything off and my hand hit something on the side of the computer. So I'm crossing this off, crossing this, crossing this. 
go to placeholder. And so the cool part about it's a seven again, it's going to be the same exact number. So it's going to be the four and it's going to be a five. And it's going to be a three. And it's going to be a four. It just moved over because of this placeholder right here. So then let's add it up. Four plus zero is four. Five plus four is nine. Three plus five is eight. Four plus three is seven. And then there's a four at the end. And there's our answer. Sorry that I left the, left it for a little bit and then I couldn't find where it was. Um, all right, come with any questions if you have them. Um, all right, keep working hard. Thanks, everyone.